Um, so, okay. So I used to keep the creator dashboard open in an internet uh, browser uh, on my secondary monitor um, so that I could, number one, I've got the stream manager, you know, you can see your activity feed, who's hosting you. Oh, wow, I've got a lot of people hosting me. That's pretty cool. And your chat, your video, there's like, you, know, you can see your bit rate, your number of subscribers, all that info. But there's a really helpful section uh, that is your quick action. So it's like you press this big purple button, you can edit your stream title, you can do clips, you can run a 60 second ad break. So something cool you can do with OBS Studio. I thought this was just absolutely awesome. So this is my, this is my stream manager. Manager, and obviously there's my stream that's a, a couple minutes behind there but you go over here to quick actions okay and you see this little thing right here the the three dot menu pop that out and then it gives you a url so you copy this and then we're going to close the pop out and now go into obs go up to let me find it view docs custom browser docs doc name we're going to call that quick action and then you paste the url in apply and now you just got to log in log it in and then i'll get the stupid text message and now i have this quick action as a dockable toolbar, which right now is way too far over. There we go. And that is in my OBS uh, now for good. Like I can just have that open and all those buttons work exactly the same way on, uh, uh, on your OBS studio as they do on the, uh, as they do on the website. Isn't that great?